Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Birdie coming at you fast with some live Paragon gameplay, but we're not really playing the game. We're actually going to be looking at this new card crafting system that just came out today. I wanted to make a video on this because I feel like some people might be confused, but also because I wanted to play around with it. So I did not look at it at all yet, okay? Like, I, I watched the video, so I kind of, I know I had to do it, but I haven't messed around with it, actually. So let's first take a look at how many cards I have, and for those of you with the keen eyes, you've already seen how many crates I got. So I got one crate and four keys for free, just for logging in just now. But, Shaboy got hella coins, so I was like, hey, why not get some more loot crates and make it a bit more fun? So the loot crates actually house a lot of rare skins, like the Gilded Scarab Grux, that's the gold Grux skin that you see some epic employees having. The Onyx Scarab Grux, okay, that's the, just the black one, but also really, really cool. You have Undertow Gideon, which is a sick tier 3 skin, I already have that one. And the Doomsday Steel skin, which is also a tier 3 steel skin, that I actually don't have. You can also get other hero skins, hero emotes, master challenges, boosts, and coins. So it would be funny if I actually opened this up and actually got coins back. Because in order to get uh, the 10 crates, I needed to spend like a bit over 3,000 coins for the 10 crates. I also got the St. Rick skin for Christmas. I'll just show you guys real here, right here. I didn't get it for free. I actually had to buy it. It was 1,200 coins. Uh, even though I'm a Master Richter and have the Master skin, I, I just love this skin. This skin is just in so much detail. It's so sick. I, I just, I love it. I wanted the skin from the get-go. It's just super rad. I love it. I think it's so sick. So... Uh, anyway, let's go back to here. Uh, so yeah, so we might open up one or two, maybe. I think I'll open, only open up one because there's really not that much in here that I actually don't have already. The only thing I don't have is a Doomsday Steel, uh, maybe a couple Tier 1, Tier 2 hero skins. I don't have any hero emotes, so maybe that might be a thing. But um, yeah, maybe Red Boost might be good. But I have every single Master Challenge because I have the Master Pack. So if I actually ended up getting that, then that would kind of suck. So... Anyway, let's go over to card crafting. So we need nine more cards to finish our collection. So let's actually figure out what we need. So each um, affinity has their own material. Order has Topaz, Matrix is Intellect, Corruption is course, Cursed Soul, Shrapnel is for Fury, Algae is for Growth, and Metal is just Universal. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at some cards that I have a lot of that I don't really use. Like for example... Lantern of the Spring. I don't really use it too much, right? I don't really use it too much. Um, I have seven of them, okay? So I think I'll only I'll only keep around maybe three, just in case. I kind of want to keep that a rule. I want to keep three of each card a kind of a good rule to live by. So we go ahead, say how many we want to dismantle, four. And you get less for dismantling. Then you do. Then you have to spend in order to craft it. So if you guys saw that earlier, it takes 250 to actually craft it. Okay, let's go over here to craft. It takes 250 to actually. Um, oh no, it takes 250 rep. Sorry, it takes 250 rep and actually 600 topaz to craft. Whereas each one only gives you 100 topaz. So that's very that's very interesting. Um, we're gonna. You have to be really smart with these conversions. So for example, I want a Beastmaster's key. Let's get these last two universal cards. The last two universal cards is I need a Beastmaster's scythe actually, uh, which would be pretty cool just to have, just to complete. This used to be way better, but now it's a Beastmaster's scythe. Uh, I needed it back when it was a thing. And the Lazarus blade, which is actually two things for the jungle that are really, really good. Basic attacks on jungle minions gain 14 damage. And basic attacks on jungle minions restore 8 health. This is really, really good uh, for jungling straight up with a lot of heroes that might not be the best at jungling. Uh, but we'll see how that works. Anyway, so let's see. So how much will it take to make a Beastmaster's key? Let's, or Beastmaster's Scythe, rather. It will take 2,400 metal. And to dismantle one of them is 600, okay? Because it's a rare passive. It takes 2,400. So what do we have a lot of? That we don't really need. Like, I'm looking for a ridiculous amount of shit that we don't need. So, like, Major Strikes. We have a lot of Major Strikes. Okay, we have a lot of Major Strikes. We have a lot of Ring of Dominoes. 
Um, what else? We have a shit ton of bounty stalkers. We have 18, of course. The bounty stalkers. How can we forget about these guys? And they're uncommon, so they'll actually give you more than just common ones. So holy shit, guys. Wow, we yeah, we can dismantle <laughs> can dismantle like 15 of these motherfuckers like honestly like i don't know anyone who actually uses more than one bounty stalker in their deck we're just gonna dismantle 15 of them we're gonna get a ton of material here we got a ton of material there perfect perfect we did it so we're gonna go back we're gonna go over to beast master's key and see once you can craft something once you have enough material to craft something they'll give you a little wrench here in the bottom left corner so, we're just gonna go ahead and craft one. We only need one recommended for literally every hero. <laughs> because it's just that amazing. We're gonna go ahead, put that in there, line up the dots, play some connect the dots, do some asterisk, some, some fucking astrology type shit, and boom! We got ourselves a Beastmaster Scythe, finally, after all this time. After playing this game for nine months, finally got a motherfucking Beastmaster Scythe. And there we go. And we are one step closer to completing our collection. So, let's go over to Lazarus Key now and see how much we need for this. Or Lazarus Blade, rather. Let's see how much we need. So, we need 4,800 because it's an epic passive, okay? So, you can tell that it doubles each time. So, commons take 600 material to build. Uncommons take 1,200 uh, rare. Very rare takes 2,400. So, if it's blue, it takes 2,400 like this. And then, epic takes 4800 but also the more rare it is the more material you get for dismantling it and i really don't need more than one ring of domina actually because it's a unique passive so stacking these won't do you any good because you'll only get this passive once that's what it means by saying unique passive that's why you can't stack crit damage passive so i have six i'm going to dismantle Five. The way you can check, just in case, if you forget how much you have or if you don't look down here, you can go all the way until this is grayed out, so that's your max. Subtract one, and then you're going to leave one for yourself. So, make sure you always leave at least one card, because they're going to go away forever if you don't. So, just in case you ever need that card back in your life, you still have one, and it's still in your collection. That's going to suck if you're trying to build your collection, and then you get rid of the cards, and then you have to go get those other cards back, and it just ends up being really, really bad. So... Uh, yeah, so you don't want that to happen. Anyway, let's see if we have any uncommons that we can dismantle. We have a lot of major casts. We have a lot of major casts. I'm going to dismantle three. Seven in base set? Oh, seven in base set. Okay, so I guess that means you can dismantle a max of... A max of three. I guess. Oh, no, craft. I see. I see. So I guess that you can dismantle a max of eight. Yeah, you can dismantle a max of eight because seven of them are actually given to you at the start. So we're only going to dismantle three. Because that's actually exactly how much we need. That's actually exactly how much we need in order to get our Lazarus Blade. So we're going to go ahead and dismantle that. Now we have that much metal. We're going to go back. Okay, we're going to go back over to Lazarus Blade. Where it at though? Where it at though? There it is. We're going to go ahead and craft one. It's going to cost 2,000 rep to craft it. We have plenty of that. It's like I planned for this update or something. Wow, that's crazy, you know? <laughs> and anyway... Boom, shakalaka laka, and we get our Lazarus Blade. Boom, that's our last universal card that we needed. We completed our universal card collection. Beautiful, beautiful. For now, at least, for now. So, if you don't have a lot of cards, it's way more beneficial to actually go ahead and just buy card packs, okay? Because it is expensive, you know, doing this individually, one at a time. It is very expensive to get the rep. It's also really hard to get all of the material. You've got to dismantle a lot. Um, so, uh, we're going to go ahead and reduce active cooldowns of nearby allies by five seconds. See, this could be pretty cool, but it's not. We're going to dismantle two of them. Um... Because we have three, so we're going to get 480 algae for that. Uh, so yeah, so just know how much you actually need. Don't overdo it. Don't dismantle more than you need because you never know how many cards you actually want. Let's go ahead and check which growth card we actually need. So we need an alpha barrier. We have absolutely no alpha barrier. So let's see how much. We need 1,200 for this. We need 1,200 for an alpha barrier. So we're going to go ahead. We have a lot of charging brutes actually also. Uh, so we can just dismantle these. Remember, if you can dismantle green and blue cards before common cards, just because, you know, they're not, um, 
They, they, they give you more. And also, again, this is a unique passive, so we only will ever use one in our deck. It'll only make sense to only ever use one, so we don't need more than one. And we have six, so we'll dismantle five. That will leave us with one, and that will give us way more algae. And now we'll be able to build our last growth card. So hopefully this kind of has been a nice little walkthrough. Hopefully I've given you a couple of tips on how to do this very, very effectively. Uh, this, this is just really, really nice system i really like it you know it's not overpowered like you can't really just splurge and just get every single thing you want but if you have been playing the game for a while and you have a lot of materials that you don't need you can easily now go ahead if you have the rep go back and actually get all the stuff that you need so we're gonna wrap this video up by opening at least one chest let's see what we get in this chest i'm kind of excited you know there's not a big possibility in order to get it you can get these crates by just playing and winning in games and you can get the keys by actually leveling up your heroes and completing challenges so let's go ahead and open one crate so the epic mega rare rewards that we can get onyx scarab gilded scarab and just a bunch of coins ultra rare we can get rep boost for 21 days or we can get xp boost for 35 days and 35 wins so that would be nice if we can get that too actually those are always nice uh and then we can get these skins i don't have some of these skins hopefully i'll be able to so these are mostly tier 2 skins rare skins and even more you know rep boost and xp boosts uh and then you can get hero masteries, which I already have all of these hero masteries. So hopefully it doesn't give me one. And if it does, maybe it'll just give me something else. And then additional rewards. So you can get emotes also for your other rewards. You can get a lot of a lot of emotes and tier one skins as well. So whatever, what am I doing? Let's open this bad boy. Let's see what's about to happen. What are we gonna get? Oh, we can stop. Oh. Well, we can stop it at any point. Will it just keep going if we don't stop? Guys, okay, what should we do? Should we do? Okay, should we do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo? All right. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Woo! Okay, it's stopping. Let's see what we get. What we get? I don't know. Maybe there was like some sort of thing to it. We got Aegis Steel. Cool. We got a tier one steel skin. But still, pretty nice. I mean, I play steel, so this could be pretty cool. You know, it could be pretty cool. So not bad. Not bad, you know? It's good for collectibles, too. Like, for co if, for people who like to collect stuff. Let's open one more. Let's just open one more. Man, I hate it. Why the fuck did they have to do this? This is why I quit Counter-Strike Go because of their chest that they have. So, I'm gonna try and see. Okay, I, I landed on... Oh, no, we passed a Doomsday. Oh, but we got rep boost for 12 wins. I like that. I like getting more rep. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I don't think there's really a strategy to it, guys. I know a lot of people are going to try and bullshit you, but it's really just like hitting a slot machine at a casino. All right, there's no strategy. It's not like, oh, you got to hit it right when it lands on the epic rare so you get more epic rares. Like, I don't think that's how it's going to work. And don't let people like Bloodthirsty Lord try to tell you otherwise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, like, don't let other people try and tell you otherwise because... Like, I don't think that, I'm pretty sure it's random. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day. Peace.